Hi, Pre-K students. Um, today we're going to be taking our um, necklace that we did a base color for last time we were here. Um, we did a base color for some of the beads and we also did a base color um, for our pendant. And when you go to your seat today, we're gonna be adding patterns. So you can see this bear has patterns on it. Um, a pattern is when a liner shape repeats within artwork. You can see that I'm wearing a lot of patterns on my outfit. So anytime that you see a line repeating or a shape repeating again, 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 we have a pattern. Now, because we already um, painted our base color in our work, we don't need to repaint the whole thing. Those were already completely done last time. But we do want to add some painted details today. So when you have a watercolor tray in front of you, um, when you have your water cup and your watercolor tray, you're going to get your brush. You're going to dip it in the water. In order to activate the paint, we need to wiggle our brush a little bit with water on it and paint our work. Now, once now you once have your have brush rolled into the paint, paint, we can then paint, paint some paint patterns. Paint paint dots, paint dots on something. On something. Now, remember that if you're painting dots on your bead um, as a pattern, remember that um, this is supposed to be symmetrical. So then I'm going to do the same thing on the other one, that color. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. The other thing, my friend, is some of you were sitting near colors last time, and some of you painted all your beads the same color, which is okay if that's what you wanted, but you could add a detail to them today, or you might trade with a neighbor. For example, you might say, I have two red ones and you have two green ones. Can we trade? So you can trade next to a neighbor at your seat if you want to, um, or you you can just add a paint of detail to give it another color. So I could get some red. I'm going to wiggle my brush. I need to rinse my brush, though, between colors. I could paint some lines on this bead. Our patterns are mainly going on the beads, but I'll show you how to add some pattern to your necklace, too. I really like how my color blend went and my base color there. If yours is more uh, plain, you could also add some color blending, color mixing to that. Um, so I'm going to move into my dark blue now. And I'm going to paint some stripes on my uh, plane here. So I'm just painting simple patterns, repeating lines and shapes on my uh, beads, on my beads. Dip your brush, rinse it between colors, and finish painting today. Um, you can also trade beads with a neighbor if you had repeating beads. If you do paint a bead, remember to paint it all the way around since you don't know which way it's going to be turned on your necklace, and our necklace will be symmetrical. Look at my necklace. It's symmetrical. Same thing on both sides. Symmetrical things are same on both sides. So if you paint one bead with a blue stripe, paint the other bead the same way so that they're matching for our um, necklace to be composed or put together next week. Have a wonderful painting day. Um, and I will see you next time. Have a great up class.